Tonight, America decides. Today is our Independence Day. And UMTV has you covered. So many people are counting on the outcome of this election. On campus. I'm Rebecca Chung, and I'll be coming to you from the largest watch party on campus. And around Miami-Dade County. It's election night, live on UMTV. And social media has been a growing medium for campaigning since the Obama re-election in 2012. Whether it was late night Twitter wars or long Facebook posts, this election cycle has proved that social media is at the forefront of campaigning. Reporter Rebecca Chung has the story. On the ground or by the phones. 12 o'clock on Saturday. This election has been about one thing. If we vote, we win. Get out and vote. Getting out the vote. Hello, Mary. After a slow 2012 campaign, Trump's camp has worked to boost voter turnout. Door knocks are up by more than half since 2012. My name is Mary Perkins. And Clinton's campaign has brought in large numbers of volunteers. Both candidates have worked hard to get out the vote in key battleground states. But this time, they have found a way to make sure their message is heard. Social media. Social media is nothing more than just a means of communication. And campaigns are the ultimate exercise in trying to communicate, whether it's an idea uh, or a message or a policy. Uh, it's going to be a, a way to engage voters, and I think you'll see can candidates and campaigns continue to try and take advantage of the platform just as a way of communicating. In a state where the vote is too close for comfort, every vote counts. We went to a polling site in Miami-Dade to find out what role social media has played in getting voters to the polls. I think it's been particularly important with millennials, with young people, but I think more and more you see grandparents using uh, Facebook and other social media. Now with uh, the social media, it's good for the millennials. <laughs> I'm the old fashioned way, but I do uh, follow it. Social media definitely plays a huge role because it allows you to like have access to all these different you know videos of um, candidates talking and then celebrities can use it as a platform to reach out to their fans. So I think it really influences people um, and it definitely has made me more aware of what's going on in this election. Millennials will be, by the time we get to the next election, the largest segment of the American electorate. So they right now are in a position to determine the future course of this country. I think they have to be involved, they should be involved, and we're anticipating high millennial turnout. They, they made the difference, a lot of people think, for Barack Obama in 2008 and in 2012. From morning to night, voters have lined up to cast their vote in a crucial election. Though they may not share the same political ideals, they can agree that every voice must be heard. For UMTV, I'm Rebecca Chung.